I have a teaser interview with a brilliant photographer, rock and roll photographer by the name of Jay Blakesburg. He's coming out with a book this month, August 2022, called Retro Blakesburg Volume 1, The Film Archives. And the book is about his film years shooting as a photographer in the world of rock and roll. This short clip to tease the full interview talks about a recent event in June of this summer when Trey Anastasio of Fish came on stage and shared a set with Goose at Radio City Music Hall. It was a passing of the torch of sorts. Enjoy. You've been in the business long enough that you've probably watched on more occasions than you can count, essentially a passing of the torch or at least the handing of a torch. So I'm referencing early on the, the Pearl Jam with the Soundgarden photograph kind of backstage and things like mm -hmm. that. But more recently, of course, I'm always looking for an opportunity to bring the goose up. You've got Trey Anastasio comes up on stage with Goose, and it's this coming of age for this band who was essentially a hell of a band, Goose. And boom, suddenly it's it's like having Jerry Garcia walk up onto stage and play a set with you. And you were boom. Yeah, right. because those guys were, you know, some of the guys in the Goose band were huge fish fans growing up. And um, some of them weren't, some of them became fish fans later on in life, but you know, Trey was also an inspiration to every one of those guys, re regardless of what they listened to in high school or post high school. Um, they were all in influenced in some way by fish and Trey. And so to have, you know, Trey come out on stage at radio city music hall and spend the afternoon with them rehearsing and sound checking and hanging out. And he was so lovely and wonderful and accommodating and friendly and, 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 you know, joking and, and everything about it was a great experience for everybody. You know, he didn't just come there, do a sound check, leave and come back and hide in his dressing room. You know, he did a sound check, went and ate dinner, came back. And, you know, he wasn't even going to play until 11 o'clock at night. And he is back at the venue at 7, 7 p.m., 7.15 because he wanted to see it. He wanted to experience it. Trey doesn't get to go to concerts without being sort of, you know, attacked, not, you know, in a bad way, but like, you know, uh, uh, you know, hey, can I get a picture? Can I get an autograph? I mean, it's hard for somebody like Trey. He's a rock star. He plays to 20 to 30 to 50 to 100,000 people a day, you know, when they do big shows. And, and so... Um, uh, you know, it was a really special night and Goose stepped up and Trey stepped up and they just crushed it. And, and I photographed it, you know, and, and, and again, you know, I wasn't there on any assignment. I had to go to New York anyway, cause I had a, a, a gig a couple of days later, um, the peach music festival out in Scranton, Pennsylvania. So I just came in a few days early because that was a big show. And I didn't know Trey was going to play when I made that choice. Um, but that was a big show for the band, you know, selling out Radio City Music Hall for the first time. I mean, these were two really important historical moments for this band, Goose. Um, the tray thing on, was icing on the cake. Um, so to be able to just kind of go and celebrate with, you know, and they've all become my friends, everybody, Peter, you know, Peter has come to my house here in San Francisco and had lunch with me and I've become good friends with his girlfriend, Becky. And, and, uh, you know, we've, it's a family, right. And I become friends with their whole crew or uh, everybody on their crew are incredible. Their lighting guy, Getty, their sound guy, Sam, um, you know, Peter who helps out you know, them on lights. He's more a freelance guy, but he seems to be in the Goose family. And it's a funny, funny sidebar. His fiance, his parents are my best friends. Some of my best friends from high school, right? You know, his fiance, you know, like, and, and, and some of the pictures of those people, his, you know, her parents, Courtney's parents are in my new retro Blakesburg book, you know, Lazi, the father, he's turned me out to most of the music I listen to today. Right. So his future son-in-law in about a year, is works with goose and then coach who's the stage manager and you know the cheerleaders just everybody marta the whole crew is incredible you know all their management people it's a it's a family their their talent agents you know carl and ethan um you know so to be around you know management ben dave all of these people to be around them it feels good because they're just all really good people and they know there's nothing there's nothing negative going on there. Nobody is spun out. Nobody is worried about, you know, are we big enough yet? Are we small? Like they'll go play a 200 seat room tomorrow for fun if they want to, or if they can sell 20,000 tickets, they will. They got Red Rocks coming up. I mean, they have big stuff happening and, uh, and they are really handling it incredibly well. 
and they're all really, really great people across the board in that crew. So, you know, I was thrilled to be there for two nights with them at Radio City Music Hall. You know, I'd love to go to Red Rocks, but I, you know, I don't know if I can pull that one off. I'm still keeping it on 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 uh, on the radar. Um, but again, that's another big show, a sold out Red Rock show, their first ever. Like, uh, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, hmm. Maybe I need to be there, you know? So anyway, that's kind of where that is at. My full interview with Jay Blakesburg will be coming up soon. I will post it on the Happiness Quotient. I'll provide some links in the show notes of this video. Please be sure to check it out and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks for being here. Have an awesome day.